Hey, Internetville, this is Jason Collins from ManufacturedHomes.com. We are at Homes Direct in Paris, California, and we're going to be taking a look at this Golden West IH2764 floor plan. It is absolutely great. One thing I did want to talk to you guys about quickly is on these homes, you get to select your favorite color for the house. So what you need to do is you need to contact the guys here at Homes Direct and find out what options and colors and things are available for this particular home. One other thing I wanted to talk to you guys about was the roof pitch on this home. It's a little difficult to see from down here, but one of the things that was sort of a telltale sign of manufactured housing in the past was that they had flat roofs. These have got a 312, which is pretty much a standard residential roof pitch. So without further ado, you guys are gonna love what you see inside this house because the inside, as gorgeous as the outside is, the inside is probably 10 times better. So let's go in and take a look. So this is it. This is the IH2764 and I cannot begin to tell you how great this floor plan is. I am a fan, fan, fan of open concept floor plans and manufactured housing in this day and age has really done a good job of creating environments that are both welcoming, that are spacious and are just like places you want to hang out. This kitchen is absolutely phenomenal. My wife would go nuts for this because she loves a big spacious kitchen. And for people who have big families, you like to entertain your friends and stuff, this is the perfect environment, guys. I mean, it, this is like the best open floor plan I've seen in a very long time. We've got great black appliances that contrast with the lighter colored countertops. All of the homes that we're seeing today have really done a great job of improving the quality of the cabinetry. That used to be one of the things in manufactured homes that was just like sort of a corner that got cut and pretty much any manufactured home that we see today, especially in this price range, has got soft closed drawers and doors. And that, you know, that's really just one more piece of quality craftsmanship that you can expect in today's manufactured home. Let's take a look at some other aspects of this home. You talk about cute. Any little girl would love to have this room, guys. And we are talking about nine foot ceilings, okay, which is also something that you used to not see. You know, manufactured homes had, had lower ceilings. These, these, are very, these homes have a very residential look and feel to them that you're gonna be happy to put this in any neighborhood. One of my favorite areas in today's manufactured housing, guys, is the utility room area. And this one I really like because it has an outside access door. That means on this home, you can actually put a garage on this end of the house. You can come straight in. If you'll notice, the flooring in here is all solid surface flooring, right? So if you come in, if you have a job that requires you to be dirty, when you come home, you can do all of your cleanup in here because, again, hard surface floors, space over here for wash and dryer, plenty of cabinet space to store whatever it is you need to. Utility rooms, I think, are some often overlooked aspects of manufactured housing. Everyone wants to see the master, everyone wants to see the kitchen, but I think utility rooms are important too. Who's excited about the bathroom? Well, maybe, I don't know. Guys, this is a pretty decent bathroom. Today's manufactured homes are just built better than they were years ago to the point where it's really difficult to differentiate between what you would see in a manufactured home and what you would see in re regular residential site construction. These are no different guys. These are awesome. Totally ample closet space. These number two and number three bedrooms are looking really good. You know, these homes today come with an awesome insulation package because I know here in Southern California, you guys have to deal with the heat and the sun. We're talking about R38 insulation in the roof, R22 in the floors, and all of the interior walls are made from half inch drywall. 
exactly the same stuff that you're going to find in any residential construction project. One of the things that I find interesting about manufactured homes today is the location of the floor registers. And you may have never even given that a bit of thought, but I'm gonna explain to you why the location of a floor register is very important. When you position your registers on the outside of the wall, that causes a convection in the room and so it allows air to flow better. So if you'll notice in these, we have a ceiling fan up here, which is blowing the hot air down as the cool air is coming up from the vent and it causes that to circulate. So in the winter time, when you're, blow, when you're doing heat, you reverse the fan so then it reverses that convection in the room. And really what it does is it causes your home to be pretty much cold spot free. And you know, that's one of the challenges that come into not only manufactured homes, but really in the design of any home is to, is to design the heating and cooling system so that you don't have tremendous variations in temperature from one room to another. Perimeter floor vents really help to do that. Second most important area of the house, or maybe the first, I don't know, master suite anyway. Ladies and gentlemen, this one's tremendous. Like you've got plenty of room in here. Um, and it has a really nice master bath. Let's take a look at that. My wife is absolutely in love with anything that involves a soaker tub. I'm a shower guy, but she really, really enjoys, you know, being able to take a bubble bath, maybe with a glass of wine or a book or a podcast or whatever. This, guys, this tub will win you points with the women, I promise you. And we also have walk-in shower with sliding glass door, his and hers white porcelain farmhouse sinks, and we have a really, really large walk-in closet. So, you know, all the women want to know how much space am I going to have to store my clothes and my shoes and all that stuff. Ample space in here, guys. Tremendous walk-in closet right off the master bath. And that's one of the things I really like about this floor plan is you can do all of your getting ready right in here in this area. And that's super cool. All right, guys, Jason Collins, once again, manufacturedhomes.com. We're in Paris, California, thehomesdirect.com. If you want to see this beautiful house or anything they have to offer here, look them up. They will be absolutely happy to walk you through things. And hey, as always, if you like the content that we're producing, you can help us help you. Like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know when we put new content out. It helps us, it helps us sort of overcome the algorithm. And hey, this, if we do this for you, so if there's something you wanna see, if there's a particular style of home you would like to see featured, drop a comment down below. Let us know what you like so that we can do more of what you like. Jason Collins, manufacturedhomes.com. Have a great day.